This week we show you where we shop for antique furniture without spending the billions I've inherited from my long lost father, an Italian spaghetti sauce magnet. More on that in a bit, but first an update on our bedroom project. So the dressing room has been cleared and we can assess what exactly needs to be done. So we mentioned the door in our last vlog. Uh, Lincoln is about to take this out and replace it with a wall. We also have to do a little bit of repairs down here. These are actually bricks behind here with plaster on top. So uh, I think we're just gonna remove this bit. You can see how wobbly it is and just replaster all this. Uh, look at this. I think this wallpaper is not going to be, oh, look, the wallpaper is holding the, the wall together. The baseboards seem to have sort of come away from, from the wall, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some uh, foam in here to fill up the gaps. This all needs to be cleared out. So I'll, I'll foam this and then caulk it and paint it. We thought about removing the baseboards to make the repairs, but thought the gaps weren't large enough to notice once they were fixed. The next step is to prepare for the foam. I'm spraying water onto the surfaces where I'm applying the foam as it needs the moisture to cure properly. Otherwise it will just sort of collapse on itself. The foam fills the gaps and provides a bit of insulation from drafts. After the foam has cured for about 12 hours, I went ahead and caulked and it will be ready for paint in another 12 hours. So you managed to get the trim and the, the door off. Right, yeah. And the, um, you can see this is loose. That so the wainscoting really came loose. But I think that's because they ran electricity in there, you know, probably 40 years ago or something. And that goes to that outlet. Yeah, and what I was just saying to you is... That's a stupid place for an outlet. It's, the outlets are high, and then you see the wiring, so... We should put them down low. Yeah, so now would be a great time mm -hmm. yes. to relocate them. Since our bed will be here, we need outlets for, obviously, lights. Baseboard's probably the best. Yeah, everything's <laughs> unexpected when you... Uh, Surprise. Unearthed things. I just noticed you took off the, the baseboard down here. So what's... Yeah. Well, the bottom of the wall is kind of wonky, and I think it's from the same as, as this side. It's from when they ran electricity, and they pulled it apart and sort of... Because this is just brick, and it's not a load-bearing wall. It's just a partition. You, know, you can tell it's not even touching the floor there. So the wall is... Almost finished. We still have some taping and plastering to do. So we're about to, well, not me, but you're about to take wallpaper down. Yes. So the last time we removed wallpaper, I remarked on how the smell was really bad. Yeah, the, when you warm up the glue, it gets it just, really it's, smelly. I can't explain it, but Stinky. it's... Yeah, it's gross. Somebody commented that you should add a drop of essential oil. I have three... Okay oils here that I need you to... Oh. So, the first is bergamot. Right. That's very I like, masculine. I like that one. It's manly that's and, what, um, and masculine. Real great too. Yeah, like. so that's lavender. That's calming, so you might fall asleep up there. That's a little stronger, so that I don't think I'll... You won't fall asleep it, with the lavender. It might do something. It might do more, because it's a little stronger. And that's geranium rose. Ooh. Well, this is stronger, so it might actually work. If okay. It doesn't, but I don't, I don't know. So you're going for the lavender? Yes. Okay, so give me those. 
But I haven't heard it. So how many drops do you think? I don't know. I don't know. It actually smells good. Yeah. But we'll see once the glue comes off what that's like. Hopefully it's stronger than the glue is Yeah. <laughs> Yes, there's black beneath. We have this black <laughs> paint. And as much as I love black, uh, this is a no-go. This is really um, kind of awful. I mean, I wonder what, maybe this was a sex den. I don't know what was happening, but there's a few repairs that need to be made to the walls. And then I have the pleasure of priming and painting over all of this black. So that's uh, just going to be an extra pain for me. So this is really heavy. Yes. How, how much do you think this thing weighs? Oh, too much. <laughs> <laughs> it's really <laughs> heavy, it's brass. Too much for me. <clears throat> yeah. So you're not gonna go up on that ladder to put it up. We're gonna no. set the scaffolding up because uh, yeah. The last time you went to hang a chandelier, disaster yeah. struck. That is correct. Please note, we are not antiques experts, nor do we play them on YouTube, just enthusiasts looking to find some interesting pieces. But where do we shop? Brocants and charity shops are amazing places to find deals. Oftentimes, the larger pieces of furniture are less desirable because not many people have high ceilings nor the space. That's when we get lucky. This beautiful antique armoire was 180 euros, and I've seen very similar ones sell in the US for around $5,000. And this armoire will be going into our bedroom, an absolute steal at 120 euro. My favorite finds were these Art Deco chairs, six for 60 euro. So this is a little piece of furniture we bought at a charity shop. And it's kind of unusual. I've never seen anything like it. Do you want to demonstrate? Yes. Well, it's got four doors that are open up. Lovely paper in the bottom. It's not so bad. Yeah. And then this, which is really cool. So it's a, it slides out. I suspect that's for if it's against a wall, which is most likely where it's going to be. Yeah. That when you open it, you can see yourself in the mirror. Now, I'm not certain what it's for. I'm guessing jewelry, but you I think don't know. so? I don't know either. Maybe somebody out there knows what this is, but it's got a nice piece of marble, which is, you know, it's got a finished edge on it. The only thing um, we need to do is stain the inside. I'm not sure why it hasn't been stained. You know, it seems odd, but it's kind of a, a neat piece of furniture. It's got a little mirror there, so I can put all my my... Uh, priceless jewels in there, my diamonds and my rubies. <laughs> yes, and my... yes. So I can't remember what we paid for this. It wasn't a ton, right? Um, no, it was maybe a hundred euros yeah. max. Yeah. Could have been a hundred, but it was certainly not a lot. We just liked it because it was unusual and it provides storage. This will go that, in our dressing room. And that's an old mirror in there too. Yeah. It's Old. Yeah, and it's, um, it's, I think the drawers are dovetailed, so you know it's a, at least a quality piece. That's nice workmanship. So watch the pivot. Mm hmm. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's quite a, quite a neat little piece. Let me put this back inside. Yeah, Lincoln broke this. the molding. <laughs> That's when you transported it. It came off on the way home in the car. Yeah. 
but that's that's, that's an easy problem. that's an easy yeah. fix. So this is another another good bargain, I think. I also love shopping online. We bought this Italian chandelier from the 1920s for about 1,000 euros, an incredible steal. But it took Lincoln a few months to painstakingly rewire it. It was well worth it. And we just purchased this little settee. I'm gonna try my hand at reupholstering this because it's got some seriously Debbie Downer looking fabric. And if I recover it, it'll have a nice fresh look. But this is, this is pretty. I like the, the carved details on this piece. So this was 90 euro. This is a piece of furniture that I originally bought for our dressing room. I'm still not sure if I'm gonna put it in there, but it's a really beautiful piece. It's, it's all oak and it's got nice storage. And uh, again, I think we paid about 80 euro for this. Um, and it's, I love it. I think it's really smart looking. This is my pottery haul. Um, I got a few little things that I really, I really love. For instance, these water jugs. These look quite old to me, and I did a little digging online, and um, this one in particular looks quite old and interesting. These little pots, you can tell, used to have lids on them, but of course they're missing. But I'm collecting these for my kitchen, just to put little utensils in. And this beautiful little pitcher, um, this was all embossed, and this, type of pottery. This is from the Alsace region in France. And we have a couple of these that were left in the chateau. The previous chateau owner was from the Alsace region. So that's how I, I recognize the, the piece. Plus I looked it up online. Little mustard pots are always fun. These are great. And these you can find inexpensively. And then we've got a few little bowls, which I, I really, I really like. And I'm not that particular. I'm not like a proper collector. So, you know, this one has some, some damage inside and, and some glazing, but I don't, I don't mind that. I think it sort of adds to the charm of these. I'm not trying to resell these, but the most expensive pieces in this lot were the two water jugs. Uh, those were five euro a piece. Uh, so we got the lot of this for around 20 euro. Plus I got a basket for firewood as well. So it's, it's amazing what you can find. And um, if you like this sort of stuff, but I do. So um, all these little pieces will go in my kitchen once it's finished. Remember, just because someone is asking a price doesn't mean that's what it's worth. Take this water jug I just bought for five euros. I dug around online and found this other one for over 900 euro on first dibs, which I don't recommend. Everything is way overpriced. I realize these jugs are not exactly the same, but I think I did pretty well for five euro. Oh, these two are so bad. You ran away. Look at Enzo. Where did you go? Oh. Oh. Look, look how tired he is. They must have, you, you, what, were you, what were you doing? You were up to no good. What they do is they go up the back driveway and into the back the back road. That's not good. Guava, look at me. Guava. <gasps> Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have something to say, leave us a comment.